today I have another Halloween tutorial for you guys. As you guys may know, I kind of had this weird break in the middle of October when I had everything set on what I wanted to film for Halloween. Um, I couldn't film because I left all of my Halloween makeup and everything like that in this house when, you know, the fire was going on and stuff. So. I was just like, oh my god, like my wigs, my contacts, and everything like that. But you know what? I decided to film this tutorial, like whether, you know, you're balling on a budget or you just don't know what to be, and maybe this will give you some type of idea on what to be for Halloween. I use all affordable and drugstore makeup for this tutorial, so it's super easy. You can find it near you, it's accessible, and I hope you guys really enjoy. I'm honestly kind of nervous to start this tutorial and by the way, I am wearing my nightshirt backwards um, and I'm kind of making it look like a tube top because I know she has like something strapless. So you know, if you're wondering why I look very naked, uh, that's because uh, this thing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get started. For primer today, we're using the Shot Miss A Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. For foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the color Natural Beige. I'm using this as a base so that I can apply purple and it won't look weird. Blending that in with my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender. And I scratched my neck. Oh my god. Erase her. She's gotta go. Ugh, I'm sick. I don't have like my voice with me. Since Ursula is very pale, I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color Neutralizer. So I'm going to drag this very drastically across my face. I'm going to drag it further than I normally would. Oh my god! Hi, baby! Yay! <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi! I freaking miss you! I miss you too, baby. You okay? I know. I love you. I miss you too. 36 more days. You count, okay? Okay. Okay. Love you a lot, okay? I love you. Alright, I'll call you soon, okay? Okay. Bye, bye. my love. Bye, my gorgeous. Mm. Bye, honey. I love bye, you. Bye, baby. Love you too, baby. Right, I gotta go now. Okay. Bye. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette. I'm gonna take this purple and I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring my face with it. Uh, just because I don't want to color a whole entire face, I want this to kind of be wearable. And if you buy these brushes, which is in the SFX box, I have a coupon code for you guys that's valid until Halloween. Um, it's the code Black Widow. I'm going to just link it down below with all the other details as well. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this color to my cheekbones, kind of like where I would contour, but I'm going to avoid my nose area for now. I'm going to blend this out with the Bedellium Tools 193. So I'm going to take this color called Great Day by Morphe and I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to deepen up this purple shade. Um, I'm going to start on my forehead just because my forehead is usually the worst area to work on. so. We're just going to start here. I'm going to start as far back as I can just so I can get a really good fade. I'm low-key sick and tired of these Pennywise uh, makeup tutorials. I don't know if I should do something to like my neck area. We'll see. We'll see how the face turns out and then if I want to do something, we'll do something. I don't know yet. Just going with the flow because I want this to kind of be like an easy tutorial that anyone can do. With my Morphe M523, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush and I'm just going to add this just to the tops of this purple just to blend it into my skin. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette and I'm just going to take random shades and fill in my eyebrows with a super high arch. I'm going to start sculpting out my brow with the Kiko Milano Full Coverage Concealer in number 2 and I'm going to use the Bedellium Tools 128. I already did this eye off camera so what I'm going to do for this eye is I'm going to take the Kiko Milano Full Coverage Concealer again and I'm just going to use this all over my eye as a base. 
Then I'm going to take my Shot Miss A A2O shadow in the color M20. I'm using my Fairless ME3. I'm popping this into my crease. I'm going to wing it out first and then I'm going to drag it up into my crease all the way up here and this is going to be right under the front of my brow. Now I'm going to take this brush that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. This is the T35 and I'm going to use this Morphe shadow called Grape Day. Uh, this is the same color that I use for my cheeks. I'm going to apply this into the crease area just a little bit lower just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to take that concealer again with a concealer brush and I'm going to go ahead and make my cut crease really big. Um, this is kind of like a drag cut crease. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and carve out my natural cut crease first. So mine would normally stop here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to like tilt my head back so that my face is taut and that it's easier for me to draw lines. So I'm going to try and make these um, cut creases as symmetrical as possible and I'm realizing that I need a bigger mirror. So a good way to make sure that these two sides are even is if you look at yourself at all different angles. So what I'm seeing is when I keep my mirror straight ahead from me, I can notice that this isn't as rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Delium Tools 167 brush and I'm going to quickly buff out this inner corner area because I don't want it to dry there and this is such a thick concealer that you know you can't really can't be too risky with it. Sigma E32, I'm going to take this Morphe shade called See Through My Eyes and I'm going to pack this onto my lid as a base for the glitter. I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeliner brush and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, glitter adhesive and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it straight onto the brush. I'm going to take a tissue and what I like to do is I like to flatten it onto the brush so that all the hairs on the brush are coated. Now what I like to do is I like to lean my head back and I like to just paint on this glue. This glue works the exact same as the NYX glitter glue. So if you're wondering about that, there you go. And then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics uh, glitter. I'm going to share with you guys the name soon after I apply it. But I like to keep my head back so that none of the glitter falls into the creases and that the skin is just a flat surface. And the glitter was called Mermaid Blue, by the way. We're going to go back into the color called Coal, and we're going to go ahead and mesh the glitter as well as the eyeshadows together. Um, I'm going to dust off a lot of the shadow. I want it to be more of a gray, so we're going to go ahead and lightly dust right here, right where the two mesh. I'm going to take the Furless brush, and I'm just going to go over the two colors just so I could get a really nice blend. The wing is actually going to be really bold and intense, so I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with the Kiko Milano Everlasting Kajal in the color 01. I'm going to smudge this color into my lower lash line with the Super Shock Shadow in the color Bay with my Sigma E20. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking the Shot Miss A A2O highlight in the color Sherbert. This is a purple with a pink reflect, and I'm popping this right in the center here and I'm also blending this up into the blue glitter just so the glitter kind of ombres into it and then I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics black light highlight palette I'm going to take the white shade in here called strobe and I'm going to apply it with the same brush and in the same area for my top and bottom lashes I'm using the Kiko Milano luxurious lashes extra volume mascara for lashes today I found these really nice Voluminous lashes. These ones are from Walmart. These are the frightening lashes in the style mesmerizing They're only three bucks and I'm applying this with the kiss lash glue Very quickly. I'm going to finish up my face. So I'm going to take the brow palette again I'm going to do the lightest color on the shot miss a e 110 brush and I'm going to go ahead and contour the sides of my nose I didn't want to do purple just because that's too harsh and this brown is too dark <laughs> go back into the BH palette and I'm going to take this highlight called Queen and I'm also mixing it with Illusion and I'm going to apply this onto my cheekbones. I take whatever is left on my brush, take um, strobe, I'm going to dust off whatever is left, I'm going to pop this onto my chin, 
my upper lip. And then taking my pinky with strobe, I'm gonna take this down the bridge of my nose. As for the decollete and uh, shoulder area, I'm gonna take the two colors, Clean and Illusion, and I'm just going to pop that on there just to give myself some type of detail. To line my lips, we're using the NYX Lip Liner in the color Hot Red. And for lips, we're using the Wet n Wild Spotlight Red. you guys I hope you guys really enjoy um, I'm sorry if you know I was out of focus or anything like that uh, this was actually pretty hard to film just because I actually didn't know where I was going I knew what I wanted to do I wanted to do Ursula but then I was like hmm how am I gonna make this look wearable how am I gonna you know give off the impression that I am Ursula and I think I did a pretty good job um, I am lacking the accessories though uh, but you can obviously like go to you know your local craft store and make your own um, but I just personally just got home from school and I just want to go sleep now because I am sick <laughs> so I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and as always let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween and as for me I'm actually gonna be Shigo for Halloween so watch out for that watch out for my pictures on Instagram and as always I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts <laughs>